Hi there folks, uh, thanks for joining me again today. Today I'm going to go through what I put in my pack for going on the West Highland Way. So we're going to start by having a look at my pack and what's on the outside of it, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, it appears that I've picked up the wrong pack. Uh, if you give me just two minutes, I'll go and get the right pack and I'll show you. Sky, what are you doing in there? Oh, right, I've got the right pack now. Uh, so let's have a wee beetle. That's the outside, so I've got my roll mat. Down there, somewhere, we can touch it. Hiking poles. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this down on the flare and we'll have a look at what's in the pack. Alright folks, so uh, I've got to quickly do the weigh in because uh, the weight is the most important thing. And I've tried where possible to make sure it's as light as possible. Uh, so let's have a wee look at the weight. Right, so we're right round there. Uh, 15 kilos in that pack. That's what we're getting bang on the screws. Um, so what's that in pounds? Just shy of 35 pounds. Right, let's have a wee look. So on the outside, as you can see, there's the roll mat wrapped up in a ground sheet just to keep it safe from drizzle. And there's obviously some paracord there for if I need it. And get these hiking poles off. Let's look, open that up, let's go for the top. Pocket in the hood. Saw your mini filtration kit. That takes care of my water purification needs while stout. First aid kit. Compede plasters. Elastoplast. Fabric strips. Diarrhea re relief tablets. Just in case. Ibuprofen, head torch, fleece, in the pockets of the fleece I've got two bandanas, because you all know I like my bandanas. Three nights worth of food, so three days, three nights worth of food in that dry sack there. Those are the Exped Ultra Light Dry Bags, Aqua Pack in there, we charging bank for my phone. Footprint mat. Don't what to be getting lost now. Wash kit. Tent. Tent poles. Packed separately so as to be able to condense the tent a little bit more. Microfiber. Pillow. Travel pillow. Cook kit. Obviously this is quite a heavy cook kit, but bomb proof. Inside there, because the Osprey bottle is not in there just now, I've got my backup fuel, so I've got a gas canister and as well as uh, some hexamine tablets. You're having a good sniff there, Zero. My clothes for the time that I'm going to be away. The main bulk of this is made up by a spare dry pair of trousers. Uh, that are very fast drying, so if I do really need uh, another pair of trousers, they're there. Underwear, t-shirts, long johns, you know, camp clothes, dry clothes. Hey, did I just frighten you there, Doug? And in the bottom part. I do have another jumper in there. That could be a hiking today. You know, just in case it gets a wee bit chilly. Waterproof trousers, sleeping bag, my wee fire tin. Inside there, there is a space blanket, lighter, fire steel, monopod, pair of uh, dashing plimsolls for around camp, pink paracord, nice and bright. So I'm going to lose it, 
That's if I need to dry anything out and hang it up. We a uh, gas stove. That obviously run on the gas. Uh, what else do we have? I think I've only actually got something in one side pocket here. Shit shovel and toilet roll for when nature calls. Aside scrap folks, that's the pack totally empty. This pack on its own weighs about two and a half kilograms. Uh, the reason I had to move my gear into this pack was the 60 litre that I was aiming to use uh, just happened to be just a little bit too small. Uh, my food was originally going to go in the top compartment of the 60 litre, but with the amount that was there, everything is shut properly, so I had to upsize. Good thing with that is it's got an adjustable back system, so if it starts getting a wee bit sore, I can change that about. But aye, all's good that ends well.